Hello everybody. So finally, the all program express entry draw was conducted last week, but of course, the big reason of disappointment for many people was that cutoff score of 557. Many people actually doubted that it was an all program draw because they were doubting if it is actually possible for any FSW candidate to have such a high CRS score. So in this video, first of all, we'll try to check if it is actually possible for the FSW candidates to have such a CRS score. And then also, we'll try to analyze will the cutoff score drop back to 500s, 490s or maybe 480s. Of course, because there are some assumptions, so nobody can make an exact calculation. But still, we can do some analysis and try to get some idea about it. Okay, so here I would be talking about the FSW unmarried or single candidates. I've listed down all the factors that would gain you all those required points. So of course we'll talk only about the high scoring candidates. If you have an age of 29, marital status is single, education is masters, no Canadian education, no Canadian work experience, international work experience of three years or more, IELTS of CLB9, no French language, no job offer, no PNP, no sibling in Canada and of course no spouse education because we're talking about the single candidates. So the score comes out to be 469, which is very far from the cutoff score. So let's increase the IELTS to CLB 10. Even then, it would become 481. Now on top of it, if we change the education from Masters to PhD, even then it becomes 496. Now on top of all of that, even if we add siblings in Canada, so the score comes out to be 511, which is still very far from the last cutoff score. So of course we would need to add more ingredients to this recipe. So if we add a job offer on top of all of these criteria, that would get you 50 more points and that person could clear the cutoff score. Any person who does not have a job offer but have a French language test score of CLB7 would get 573. So here even if we make IELTS score from CLB10 to CLB9, even then it is 561 which is above the cutoff score. Again, these are all just random examples. So if the person has CLB 10, but no sibling in Canada, even then they would make to 558. Now let's say the person has got masters, CLB 10 in IELTS, CLB 7 in the French test, no job offer and sibling in Canada, even then the score would be 558. So these were just some examples where we can say that yes, even FSW candidates could get such a score. Now when we're talking about the job offer, we're talking about job offer with knock code apart from 00. If the knock code is 00, they get 200 points. So even if somebody loses a lot of points for age, no French test, with those 200 points, they would be able to cross that threshold of 557. Similarly, there might be some people who haven't got a French test, but have got Canadian education. They might be able to clear the cutoff score as well. So of course the conclusion is that calculation wise, mathematically it is possible that FSW candidates would also have got the invitations in this draw. However, having said all of that, there might be very very few people who would actually be able to pull off these kind of criteria. There won't be many people who have a PhD degree, work experience of 3 years or more, less than 29 years of age, CLB 9 in IELTS and CLB 7 in the French test. But yes, there might be couple of people with that criteria but yes for majority of the people in the express entry pool these kinds of cutoff score would only be a dream okay guys now let's try to analyze the express entry pool and try to see if we can actually get an idea of the cutoff scores so here we have the crs score ranges and number of candidates as in july 6th and back on june 20th interesting thing to note here is that in the score range of 501 to 600 there are around 750 candidates who joined the express entry pool in those 14 days. That's a big number. In the score range of 491 to 500, around 424. And similarly in other score ranges as well. Now mind it, this happened only in 16 days time. But don't worry, generally it won't be the case. Probably so many people actually joined the express entry pool in anticipation of the first express entry draw. After all, it was happening after one and a half years. Usually we won't see so many people entering the pool in a span of two to three weeks. But anyways, as 1500 invitations were issued, that would mean all the people in that score range of 601 to 1200 and few from the score range of 501 to 600, which would mean we are left with 
more than 7900 candidates in that score range of 501 to 600. Now if we try to sum up the number of candidates from 481 to 600, there would be more than 20,000. Now also in the next five and a half months, we can say around, roughly around 15,000 people would be getting the PNP nominations, they would be entering the pool. So all in all, we have around 35,000 people who would be there above the score range of 480. So earlier we were talking about 470s, but I highly doubt that the cutoff score can drop down to that level. To be very frank, now I even doubt the 480s. I feel that 490s would be a comfortable zone and that too towards the fall or the end of 2022. But yes, if you ask me, if I try to be optimistic, I would say 480s is my best bet. But anyways, I don't want to speculate too much on it because obviously everything depends on the number of invitations they are issuing per draw. As we hope that they would be increasing it gradually. So right now it was 1500, maybe in the next draw it might be 2000 and it might go up to 4000 or 4500. But yes, all the people who are in that score range of 470s, I would now recommend that you should look for different options. Even all the people who are in 480s, if there's a chance that you can improve your score, this is the right time. But anyways guys, I'll wrap this video on this point here. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you have any comments, any feedback, please put it down in the comment section below. And also if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, consider subscribing.